about the spring to now, what have you really seen from this uh, tight end group in terms of progression? And how are y'all preparing these last two weeks? Uh, I'd say the number one thing is knowledge. Um, just with all that Coach Richardson brings to the table and um, how he kind of, you know, his coaching ways is different from the other coaches we've had. And, and he's really all about, uh, he's got a saying, we're going to be the most physical and most knowledgeable group on the field. And um, just the big picture, understanding the big picture from spring to now, huge difference. I mean, we, we can line up anywhere on the field right now and we know everybody's job. Um, and, and there's a lot of more things that we've, we've grown on this uh, off season, but that's probably the biggest one. How do you feel health-wise just coming back from the injury? I feel great. Yeah. I'm ready to go. I'm itching, ready to go. I mean, typical camp soreness or whatever, but um, I'm ready to go. I'm itching. So is the rat, is that just sort of a precaution? Yeah, yeah, it's just like a, like a typical shoulder brace. This is just a different, yeah. different version. Guys wear different ones. Yeah. So could you have gone through the spring if you really wanted to, or did you just sort of sit it out just to wait until the fall and not risk um, it? I probably could have. Yeah. You know me, I mean, I'm going to go unless someone tells me I can't go. Right. Um, and I kind of knew I had this uh, last season, and then so it was just it was perfect timing at the end of the season just go ahead and get out of the way, be ready to go for this. So when did you actually have the surgery? Uh, January, right yeah. after the bowl. Gotcha. Uh, Dabo called uh, Brendan Skull last uh, scrimmage uh, like a two-year-old lab puppy <laughs> last uh, scrimmage. What have you seen from him from his first year to his second year as a tight end? Just maturity. Um, I mean, by the time Jake leaves here, he's, he's a special player now, and he's going to be a special player this year. Y'all you guys are going to see it on the field. And by the time he leaves here, he's going to go down as one of the great tight ends that come through here. Um, you know, he just from a, a knowledge standpoint, like I said earlier, and and just truly understand the offense. And he's gotten stronger and faster, and he's really starting to put all that together, uh, both on and off the field. So he's going to be exciting to watch this year. What's the biggest aspect of uh, the UNC coaching staff coming up in a couple weeks that's changed about your game? What's changed about my game? Um, I mean, I'll say that nothing really much has changed. I mean, from a knowledge standpoint, Coach Richardson has really helped us understand the big picture. Uh, like I said earlier, I mean, we could line up at outside receiver. We could do running back. I mean, I know obviously we won't do that, but we just, we know everybody's job. We know who the O-line has. We know all of it. Um, and so I say probably the biggest thing is just my understanding my surroundings and, and really what the defense is doing. Um, Coach Richardson's made it really easy to, to really break down um, what the safeties are doing, what the corners are doing, how the linebackers are trying to play us. Uh, and so from that standpoint, that's probably the biggest thing. From a physical standpoint, nothing's changing. I, I pride myself on trying to be the most physical player on the field. Uh, and, and I know I'm not the strongest or the fastest, but I feel like if I got better technique than you, I've got a shot to beat you. And so that standpoint, nothing's changing. What kind of roles have you set for yourself this season? I just want to be the best teammate I can possibly be. And whatever I have to do to help this offense succeed this year, that's what I want to do. Um, and that literally can be from taking all the snaps to, you know, sitting on the bench if I have to, if that's the best thing for the offense. Um, I just want to do whatever I can to help this team win and to do whatever I can to help this offense be the best it can possibly be. Dave, you also got, also obviously got this season, but you know, knowing you're going to have a shot at the next level at the NFL, was is there anything particularly that you've wanted to work on in terms of your skill set, or did anything change as far as your your approach to this season specifically? Everything. I, I, every year, I, I I feel like you know, um, at the end of every year, I kind of go back and, and reflect on the good and the bad and. And I do that a lot with my dad and, and my brother uh, and here, um, obviously. But I'd probably just say, you know, every year just kind of for me, it's just, you know what? I can always get better at every little aspect. I know I'm not the fastest guy out there. I know I'm not the fastest tight end. I know I'm not the strongest tight end. Um, and so that, I think that drives me to, to really, you know, try to improve in every aspect of my game. You know, I might have good pad level, but I can always be better at my pad level. Yeah. Um, you know, I might have good hands, but I can always get better at my hands. Feet work, um, you know, leverage and all that. I feel like I can always improve. So. Do you think there's something that's most important, like a most important trait, just when you think about sort of yeah. your future beyond Clemson? Uh, 
I really, I mean, I kind of pride myself in being able to do both, mm -hmm. you know, be effective in the run game, be effective in the pass game. Um, and so, I mean, with the run game, you really got to be good with pad level and your hands have to be good. Yeah. Your leverage has got to be good. And obviously with route running, you know, your, your footwork's got to be good and, and hands and understanding the defense. So, you know, probably those those things mainly. Do you, do you pay attention to any of the draft projections that are out there? No, don't don't mean a thing. Um, yeah. My dad raised me and my brother to, to not pay attention to those things. And, and it's easy to get caught up in that for sure. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, I can control only what I can control. And so I think the good Lord will take care of me. Whether my path is the league or if it's not, you know, I'm at peace with whichever one happens. We've seen, we've heard all summer people raving about DJ and what he's been able to improve on. What have you really seen from DJ? What can you take away from what he's been working on this offseason? He's a leader. He's really became uh, more vocal. Um, I mean, everybody talks about his weight and all that crap, but I mean, just <clears throat> the way he is, the way he acts around the guys. Um, tell like when we do skills and drills and, and weights and all that I mean he, he's trying to lead and you can tell guys appreciate that because guys can see the effort he's making in that aspect um, and, and everyone on this team respects DJ and uh, especially in the offense everybody respects DJ everybody loves DJ um, and so from that standpoint he's really tried to, to, to lead and um, really be a good encourager and, and I mean in the off season, the tight ends we'd meet uh, one day during the week after our classes and all that, and then the next day we were trying to meet with DJ. DJ wanted to meet, and it was just us and the tight ends. Like, all right, let's try to figure this out. You know, if we're doing something new with the offense, we're trying to learn and go through it together, trying to understand. You know, he wanted us to know, uh, you know, what his process is on each. I mean, we really broke down every little detail that we can because you know we learned, we learned last year that. You know, the little details are huge. Uh, and he didn't meet just with us. I mean, he met with the O-line. He met with the receivers. He met with the running backs. And so you can tell he's really tried to really be a leader. So do you think those aspects of his game have been over overshadowed by all the talk about his weight loss or maybe not getting as much attention as you think maybe they should? Uh, I mean, people talk about what they want to talk about. But, yeah. I mean, I know from where I stand and from where the guys on the offense stand and his team, I mean, that's a shame about DJ. DJ's been DJ this whole time. And, uh, you know, the respect for DJ has always been there. The love for DJ has always been there. We know what kind of work he is. And, and the outside noise is just kind of whatever. I mean, who cares? But from the inside, um, we're all behind DJ and we're all behind each other. We're all behind Kay. We're all behind Coach Swing. I mean, I mean, everyone's really, really tight. And so we really don't care about the outside noise. Do, do you see a different level of mobility in him, though, with, with just being a little lighter on his feet? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a, a few plays that he's made um, that I've noticed just going, whoa, you know, yeah. that's, that's, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. so, plays yeah. he wasn't making last year, maybe? Uh, he's always been making those plays. I mean, he's got, everyone knows he's got crazy arm strength and, and crazy accuracy and all that. Um, you know, it's, it's hard with practice and, and scrimmages because they're so protective over the quarterbacks, you know. It might not be a tackle, but they're going to blow it, you know, just in case to protect them. But to, you can see him out there running a little bit, scrambling, and it looks, looks a little bit different. Any more questions?